Hi Simon and Dorothy, how are you today? Good, thanks. You look a little bit different to last time I've seen you. What's going on? I uh, got a haircut. That must be it. Alright, so we're going to learn to play My Sock Smell today. Uh, can I get you to clap and sing this after me please? And where are we? My socks smell. Simon socks do Sim actually <laughs> a lot. A yours lot. Too. No, yours. Okay, after me. My socks smell. My socks smell. My socks smell. My socks smell. Your socks smell. Your socks smell. Your socks smell. Your socks smell. Yes, my socks they 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 smell. From the beginning, my socks smell. My socks smell. My socks smell. My socks smell. Your socks smell. Your socks smell. Your socks smell. Yes, my socks they 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 smell. Okay, Simon and Dorothy, are you ready to name the notes with me? Yep. Fantastic. Here we go. Here's our count in boys and girls. After me. E, E, E. To the beginning. E E E E E E E F F F F F F F F F F F F E E E E E E E E E E Thanks Simon and Dorothy. Well done boys and girls. Hey Groovers, this lesson will learn a song called My Sock Smell. But before we do, let's do a little bit of revision. Now, you may know this note is on a line and this note is in a space. Notes on lines from low to high go E, G, B, D, F. You may remember our prompt every good boy deserves fruit. We have our notes in our uh, spaces, F, A, C, E, and our prompt for that is the word face. We spell that F, A, C, E, of course. You may also remember that as we go up by step, now going up by step is going space line, space line, such as this, space line, space line, space line. As we go up by step, we go up in alphabetical order. So we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We also start down here, or we can start down there. We've talked about that note. We start at D, D, E, F, G. And after our G, we go to A again. Now, you may remember on our guitar, our high notes, Play this with me, our high note, E. As we go lower, we go away from the floor, toward the ceiling. Uh, and here we are here. This, is, If you can see, this is a little bit awkward, but we'll go E, E, G, D, and we can even go lower, A and E. So, high notes, low notes, away from the floor. So. That's our highest note so far, an E note. But how would we play an even higher note, say an F note? Well, let's look at this for a minute. Our E note. Our E note 
is produced by our first string vibrating between the nut and the bridge. It's about I don't know, 750 millimetres, three quarters of a metre, something like that. Don't quote me on that. Um, so, that length of string, that length of vibrating string, produces that sound E. Now, if we were to shorten the length of the string, the note would change considerably. For example, if we uh, played this note here, if I placed my finger on the string and held it down, you can probably see that I'm holding that down against the, uh, against the fret, against the fingerboard. And the string is being held down by this fret in here. That's the point of contact that there. So the string is only vibrating between this point and this point, there and there. So we're getting a very high sound. Okay, now E to F, alphabetically they're very close, and they're very close on the stave. E is there, F is there. F, of course, is the next note after E. So, on our guitar, it stands to reason that F is just going to be a little bit higher than E. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to get you to put your first finger down on the first fret of the first string, just like that. Can you see that? So make sure you keep your thumb up nice and straight behind the second fret there, or inside this area here, that would be great. And we're just going to press that down and give that a play. And that's our F note. So if you take your finger off, it's E, and put your finger on, it's F. And you'll notice that F sounds a little bit higher than E. F, E. And that's because F is vibrating not from the nut, but from this point here, the first fret. So uh, it's a little bit shorter, so it sounds a little bit higher. E to F. What I'm going to do now, you can see that I've got my guitar sitting on my lap. I'm going to get one of our sticky dots. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to place it underneath the first string. Now just make, and I'd like you to do the same. So you see where it's located. I'm going to put it on the first string. That's the highest sounding string. And I'm going to place it just behind the first fret. So you'll see where the nut is. And there's our first fret, or our first fret wire. I'm just going to place it behind there. And I'm just going to give that a bit of a, just going to rub that in. Sometimes they don't stick. But you'll need, you may need to give it a good, uh, a good rub. Then, I'm just going to push the string aside. And I'm going to write the letter F. Now that we've placed our F sticker on our uh, fretboard, I'm going to show you how to how to fret that, how to how to hold that finger down. It's it's it can be quite tricky, especially for young beginners. So what I'd like you to do is this: you see the second fret area here. My thumb is going to sit just behind that on this side of the neck, of course. There it is. There, if you can see that. Now my thumb is about halfway down the neck and that will allow me to easily reach any of these any of these notes with a separate finger. So right now we're concerned with having our finger in place so that it's uh, an F note's easily reached. Now I want you to use the very tip of your finger and this part of your thumb is the only part of your thumb or hand to come in contact with the rear of the neck. So we're not going to play like that. We're just going to have this much of our thumb. Just the very tip of our thumb. Well, not the tip, but uh, this soft part of your thumb on the neck of the guitar. So that all we have to do to get from E to F 
is move our first finger off and on just a tiny bit. I don't want to see you doing this. Although some people will always do that. I'd, I'd like you to try and avoid doing that. So there's our E, there's our F. E, F. Don't do that for E. Just practice that for me. Let's do this. Play this after me. I'd like you to, if you have a look at my sock smell, you'll notice that we have three E's to start with a ta, 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 ah. Uh. Play that after me. Ta, 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 ah. Uh. 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 Now, your finger will go to F. So, place that tip of your finger on that F note just where you've placed that uh, sticky white dot. F, 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 go. F, 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 my turn. F. F. Now you notice that we go back to E again. Now, I don't want you to take your fingers away like that. Just lift your finger just a tiny bit. And we've got this rhythm. E, 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 go. E, 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 my turn. E, 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 and go. E, 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 E. Now it's time to play with the music. Have your guitar sitting up nice and straight on your lap. Have your thumb just behind the, uh, the second fret there, that area inside here. One, two, that point there, about halfway down. And have your finger ready to uh, press down on that little white dot. Okay, here goes. So, E first, after me. E, C, C, your turn. E, 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 my turn. Your turn. Finger on F. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Third line. the beginning. Your turn. 